Get some every time. There you are. Yeah, it didn't work this time. There you go. Hey. I'm a little bit tired because um, last minute creativity. I'll just, just quickly check the projector. Yeah, woof, woof, woof. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Um, it's, um, it's a bit of a bad thing about my time. 25 years in Singapore. 25 years ago, I arrived in Singapore and they said, Welcome to Singapore! Get to work! <laughs> and I haven't stopped since. And a lot of the things I've done, and people say, oh, that's very interesting, very creative, it's always been last minute. Because <laughs> you're always too busy. It's okay, don't think I'm going to get too tired here. There we go. So, yeah, we're always too busy. And they say, if you want something done, ask a busy person. Click! Thank you very much. I forgot the clicker. I'd like to throw it in. Oh, it's right here. Fantastic. Boom. Boom. Oh, that's it. Excellent. So, so many creativity tools, so little time to use them. Wouldn't it be nice to have time to do things the right way? Always. Yeah? But you don't always get warning. When do you need to be creative? Don't know. In, in the shower, yes, absolutely. <laughs> you too! Yeah, the neighbours hate me as well. That's, that's why I go busking. I, instead of just annoying the same neighbours all the time, I can scare everybody. Yeah. So there's no warning. Of course, we're all busy la! Well, hun man, and all that stuff. And the thing is, you've got to be creative. We want you to do something because no one else wants to do it. Who are you doing it for? You've got to think about it. Is it for kids? Is it for grown-ups? A lot of grown-ups are kids anyway, so hey. And certainly somewhere like Singapore, sometimes you have to be safe. Mustn't offend people. Mustn't make people lose face. When I do busking, in UK or something, I can be in their face. In Australia also. In Singapore, best not to look people in the eye too much, I find. Apart from you, hi. That's right. That's right. He's okay. And if people put, you know, money in the box, you just say, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, wonderful, wonderful. They, oh, oh gosh, they think, I wish I hadn't done that. So you've got to be safe. And of course, when did I do these slides? Do you want to? Yes, last night. That's right. Yes. I emailed it at 2.35 in the morning. Yes. That's right. I think I'm still in this terrible dream. Anyway, click. So there you are. All these lovely, lovely tools about how to be creative. They are good. They're good. Very clever people have thought this all out. Very good. Design thinking is the latest thing. We must do design thinking. Yeah, but what about the world's stock of post-it notes? How many brightly coloured trees have you seen left? They've all been cut down to make post-it notes. Yeah? So, because you have to, you know, they make them out of trees which are slightly gummy on the outside. Yeah, that's it. Ah. <laughs> And it'd be very nice to do extensive market research and make sure that everything is perfect for the customer. Got time or not? No time. And it'd be very nice to get the exact materials. Yes, I would love it too. But sorry, you got, it does take time. So actually, I'm a little bit counter all these other things. It's better to be good and finished rather than perfect but half finished. Sorry, yeah, I didn't do the last slides, yeah? Then how? So, anyway, let's go click again. Bing. Wow, it's good this thing, isn't it? Yeah. See, this is probably invented by someone in a, you know, while in the shower, I guess. <laughs> so you do need inspiration, but you also need instant fixes. And I got a few little things. I mean, that, this little uh, doodah here. If I remember correctly, I was asked to do a kid's birthday party and they wanted something different and as usual I hadn't prepared in time so I looked around for something I wanted to make silly noises 
and I'd only just replaced the shower hose. And I hadn't, hadn't actually got round to chucking it out yet. It was just still coiled up on the floor, just going, you know, like that. You know, so my imagination, yeah? So I thought, maybe, maybe. And it didn't work. And so I just modified an old trumpet mouthpiece, a practice mouthpiece. Then it wasn't very loud because, you know, if you just use a hose on its own, it's a bit sort of... <laughs> It's a bit lame. So, how can we boost up? Then, I thought, oh yeah, I know. Let's let's boost up with something. And I, at that time, I just had the top of a drinks bottle. But now I'm using high tech kitchen funnel. Yeah. And this is, comes handy because you know when you're making something like this, and this again is instant creativity. Last night I was doing the night festival. Um, and it was uh, in just off Brass Bazaar. And you know, a kid comes up and says, Can you make me a shark? You know, like, Can you make me a shark? How do you make a shark? Anyway, what I came up with didn't look like a shark at all. But I gave it to him and I said, Don't worry, it's the shark that's just swallowed a piano. <laughs> Here we go. Ho, ho, ho! Here we go. Quick, it's a creativity. That's it. I've got to quickly make this thing. And then you just got to try and make it a little bit more special. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Haven't done this for a while. Let's see if it still works. Now, I hope I don't create a bang, because this sometimes also goes wrong as well. And in Singapore, I often don't have time. I'm doing this on a unicycle at the same time. Here we go. A little neck here. And then we go. Ugh. Can you see what it is yet? Rolf Harris. Remember Rolf Harris? There you are now. That looks like an elephant. Doesn't smell like an elephant. But there you are. See, people think, yeah, very creative, but is it really an elephant? I'll just ask it. Excuse me, are you an elephant? <laughs> Which means, of course, I'm an elephant, stupid. What do you think I was a balloon? There you are. Anyone got a birthday today? Anyone got a birthday this week? Anyone got a birthday this year? You got a birthday this year. There you are. Okay, right, lovely. Okay. Right, come on in. Okay, let's have a little musical interlude before I go on. Um, let's just get this thing going. And just, just fight the fight the module. Now, while I'm talking, what's actually quite nice is that you can just get a lot of instant solutions, and that's really, really nice. Um, one of my favourite shots, which I didn't really want to too, you know, too much, uh, I don't know, be commercially whatever, because it's unfair to the other stores. So when I say dollar shop, I don't mean. Daiso or anything like that, you know, like Daiso, my favourite shop, Daiso, but uh, do dollar shop, okay? So also begins with D. Ever been to Daiso? It's a two dollar shop. I go there and I say, talk to me. <laughs> it doesn't, but you no, know, somehow I just get this kind of inspiration. The local hardware shop, hardly anything I buy there is used for the proper thing. I'm always using it for something else. I mean, whoever blows down the shower hose apart from me, am I the only one? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> right, now then, let's just see if I can find my special thing here. Um, that one, yeah, here we go. Do things differently. That's the nice thing. Do things in a different way, that's right. You know how to play a recorder? Call up nose. I normally have little kids saying, Well, yeah, thank you, thank you. I say, Mr. Clown, Mr. Clown, why do you play with a recorder up your nose? As it means I can smile at the same time. Oh, I'm sorry, so rude. Does anyone else want to go? I'll wipe it for you. No, okay, never mind. It's a grown up one.
it's always good to play musical instruments because if you can't think what to say in a talk, it's very, very good just to sort of you know, fill things out. Anyway, so what we do, if you want to actually make something, then what we do is you just go to you know, something like Dyson or something like that and just get some ideas and say, oh, that could fit in here and whatever. And what's quite handy with the hardware shop, I, I made this originally, then I thought, hey, I wonder if I can make a, some kind of trombone thing. So I noticed that plastic pipes for plumbing, you get a big size and a small size, they fit inside each other. So my first one was to have a pipe this long, another pipe, and it fits on top, put a horn on the end, and a mouthpiece, it's okay. And it's all right, it's all right. And then I thought, well, let's go the whole hog. Let's make a whole trombone. Now a trombone, how much does a trombone cost? Anyone play a bone? Yeah, it's about something like, what, $2,000, $3,000 easily. My trombone is $20. It sounds like it too, unfortunately, but anyway, but it does play. Seven positions, the whole thing, yeah? Yeah, give it a try sometime. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely. Okay, now, actually, you can even play music like that here. Let's just see if I can find it for you. Hey, hey, hey. I may not be able to find it, but I'll try. Now what I'm saying is that with improvisation or creativity you can often start with something that's already there. Do you recognize this? Very classic beginning, except the amplifier's cut out, hang on. I think the battery's a bit low, but never mind, we just let it thermally cut out and then come back. So what actually happens is you have this standard beginning, Ah, that's okay, uh, just, just turn down here. That's okay, when things go wrong, it's okay. You just think of something else to do, but no problem, here we are. Just turn off, turn again. So all you could do is play the standard backing and you're supposed to play American Pie on top of it. But what if you can't play all the notes? Don't worry, you play something else. So this is the whole thing about instant creativity and it means you come up with something new. Etc. 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 Right. Okay. Hey. Right. So, moving on. So the whole idea is like with music, with objects, with even PowerPoint slides or whatever. You just take something, you turn it around and inside out, and see what happens. Um, say, for example, if you want to come up with a presentation, yes, there's a whole load of clip arts you can bring in. I try never ever to use a clip art exactly as it comes in because it's someone else's work. So you can take this one in, Happy Father's Day. If you just type in happy when you, when you go for clip art in the Microsoft Word or something, you get this. So you just right click on it, ungroup, and then it'll say, this is not a Microsoft Office object. Do you want me to do yes, 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 click, 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 click. Okay, fine. And so then you ungroup and then you can just sort of Click on things and change your color, delete backgrounds, so just click outside, take away, click outside, take away, click outside, take away, and then you end up with this, change his shirt, write something on his tie, and you've got something, it's yours now. It's someone else's work, thank you very much, yeah. uh, respect, respect, but now I put my own flavor, which is quite nice. Now it's time to click again, Boop. thank you. Now whatever it is, even though it is last minute, and you are really panicking and you've only got a few hours before you need the thing, you still need just to let it simmer down. Now, there's something very, very good that is for all of we living people that will give us a break. Do you know what it is? It's two things. One is input, the other one is output. Now, input, you normally need to have your hands, okay? And um, it tends to sort of... Um, whoops, I'm too sweaty. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, so what happens is, where well, you know, you're eating, you can't really do things at the same time. But then the output, which I won't mention any more about, but you know what I mean, that's a very, very good idea. A lot of my ideas have happened then. Okay, because I'm a normal human being. So anyway, on the input side, let's keep it to the input, shall we? Coffee can be good at this point. One thing I love, 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 really about, there's something, I've got a 3D printer, Last year's make Mini Maker Fair, uh, oh look, I've got a Mini Maker t-shirt on, whoa, what a coincidence. Anyway, what we have is, at last year's Mini Maker Fair, I ended up with a poor to be printer, and that was great. And what I loved about it, I got the kit, and one very, very important thing inside the kit, as well as the motors and the plastic parts and the screws and the little tools, was, can anyone tell me what it was? It was small and rectangular and soft and squidgy. It was a sachet of instant coffee, which you don't normally expect to see in a kit. But I love the way they think, because it is to celebrate getting it together. You celebrate by making yourself a cup of coffee with it. Don't you, don't you love the way? Isn't that creative? I love it, I love it. And it's easy. Anyway, you get ideas, ideas, ideas coming out of the smoke. Here we go. Ba-dum! And the whole idea is also you can just <laughs> drop it anywhere. So basically, whatever it is, is that you buy or use, just use it in a different way. Our friend here is slightly red ahead now than it was before, but uh, you know, you never know. You might get some idea when you see something upside down, different angle. Uh, it works. I think let's uh, quickly go out of here. Now, one other thing. Again, an instant solution. If you want to come up with something which is well, creative but quick. It's this thing. Here's an example. And I was demonstrating this at the Mini Maker Fair. Uh, I didn't bring the whole thing because I've only got half an hour or less. So uh, you just need to use your imagination. But this is the screen on the PC for my little app which will control a cheap toy. This is an $18 toy. You go to Mustafa, there's another place I say, talk to me. <laughs> Normally talks to me in Tamil or Hindi, so I don't understand, but, but um, anyway, I do get the message. And what's happened is, as I, as I was joking in the Mini Maker Fair, I am a nerd, I'm, I'm proud of it, and one duty of a nerd is to make things more difficult to use than they were before. So now this comes with a perfectly good remote control, very, very, very uh, intuitive. Kids can use it, that's fine. First thing I did was cut it off and put a plug on so I could put it back on again. But now it plugs into an interface, which I made, using a microprocessor, which means now the computer can control this $18 thing, which means the value now is at least $5 million and counting. And now you've got to work out which keys to press on the keyboard. But I do try and help you. You could also click with your mouse, which is even more difficult and non-intuitive. But the cool thing about this is that you can store a set of commands. You could have music and get the digger to dance. The digger dance. Yeah, bows at the end as well. That's the one. There we go. So we start with something cheap, and hopefully we make it kilometers better. Yeah, back in Britain we say miles better, but anyway, there it is. You don't know what a mile is, do you? Yeah. There, there. Okay, here we go. Oh, so hopefully with your final touch up, yes. You are almost good to go, but just need to do, do need to check, even though it's last minute, you don't want to have something that is embarrassingly not working for you. So just check. It's really worth a few minutes just to tweak it. Is it really suitable? Is it going to be, are kids going to get their fingers stuck? Is it, is it could something be the wrong way around? Is it user friendly? And you know, there's a company spend a lot of money on product names which are real turkeys. I remember I was in Switzerland once on holiday and I got a packet of bread rolls, a nice soft bread rolls and it like, had like two little halves of it with a crack down the middle and the brand name was Bum. <laughs> Maybe they don't have the word Bum in Swiss but, uh, or in German or whatever it is but it certainly looked like one and I thought, 
I know, I'll eat it anyway. Okay, right. <laughs> so, what you need to try and do is just climb inside the mind of the people you're being creative for. That's the sort of thing. Yeah? Or if you can't, just annoy them with music like I do. That's the way. Now, here we go. And the other thing too, just more of the boring technicalities. Uh, you may have a fantastic thing, but is it going to be a pain? Is it going to be batteries need replacing every half a minute or something like that? Can you simplify things? Rechargeable, compatible. You've got a fantastic thing. You come up and then you find that people, people like James here only use Macs and wouldn't be seen dead with a PC. Then what happens if it doesn't work with a Mac? Ah, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the thing. Okay, I wonder what happens if I press this button. Right. Oop. Did I go too? Yeah, so that's basically. So I'm supposed to give you a personal growth challenge. Now, one personal growth thing is doing a bit too well, so um, I'm trying to do personal diminishment. But anyway, it's just very general. Uh, they actually emailed me back saying, do you think you could make your personal growth uh, challenge a little bit more succinct and measurable? And I, read, I wrote back saying, yeah, I see your point. Because, you know, three pages is too much. But anyway, basically, look at stuff, think it better, do it better, and then... See if you could, just even this week, coming up, look at something, see if you could do it together. In fact, I would ex go a little bit further, look at two things, see how you can put them together, what fits in something else. Could be quite interesting. Now, last thing. No, it's not. I think I, yeah. Being, being a nerd, you know, I just basically, uh, uh, okay, never mind, that's okay, it's good. Well, that's fine, because it means I've got balloon time now. Now, I'm going to do last bit of creativity until James says, no, stop, they won't have any tea break, they'll die. So, okay, just in case, before that happens, let's do the most creative, this is not my own design, by the way, but I love this thing, see if you can guess what this is. Okay, here we go. You first of all make a sausage about like this. I might have put I might have filled up too much. That's okay. Alright. Can you see what it is yet? No, maybe not, maybe not. Okay. Right, okay, here we go. So now we squish this in and we just do this. Now, creativity is very nice. This is, I find doing balloons is very, very relaxing. So creativity is not hard work, it's actually relaxing. And so what actually happens here? is I'm making some bubbles and I'm making some lovely painful sounds too. There you are, a hammer, bang, bang, bang. Good for making things work. Now I want to make a seat to sit on, so I pinch, twist, twist. Ah, then I do a pinch twist like that with lovely ripping noises like this. Right, and then, can you see what it is yet? Looks like a, I know, it's a sprayer. For dengue, you know, the 80s mosquitoes. Yeah. You hypnotize them first and then spray them. Right, okay. Pinch, twist, twist. Pinch, twist, twist. And then we do this. Hey -ya! Good to create noise as well. Still no, no wiser? Okay, here we go. Just do another pinch, twist, twist. Now I'm going to do five. E, R, San, Sir. Whoa. Okay, see, I can count in Swahili. Right, now then. That's what my Mandarin sounds like. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Ah, my finger's stuck! Oh, oh no, lucky this one. That was a close one. Here we go. Now, this is at the front here. Now, we're almost there, almost there. So here we go. We've, just, we've got to make a double pinch twist down here. Turn it round. Oops, I may not have enough. Okay, never mind. We'll just fudge it somehow. I always do. Right, okay. And we pull it round, hope for the best. Hey yeah, that'll work. See what it is yet? Almost there. Ah, it's more than a bicycle. Yeah, it's a Hardley Davidson. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, they said it couldn't go to eleven, but I just did it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually, you're looking a bit worried. Don't worry, my balloons are guaranteed 
for four and a half minutes. Okay, now then. Oh yeah, could you just, see so you've got a sharp thing there, would you mind just uh, popping that middle ball there for me? You go, hi -ya! Oh, 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 that does it, oh, 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 oh. See, creativity, create Dharma, you did that. Actually, you're wondering if you popped the correct one, you did, thank you very much indeed. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I shake your hand, but you've got something sharp in your hand. Oh, it's okay, lovely, lovely, okay. Right, here we go. All is revealed. One, Hardly Davidson. There you are. That's for you. Okay, hold on this. Okay, and I think it's a good point. The balance. Say thank you very, very much. Good luck in your creativity. Hey! hey.